Emergency authorization of the COVID-19 vaccine by U.S. drug maker Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech is anticipated by officials to be just days away for the U.S., though for a handful of countries, it's already been granted, most recently in Canada, as well as the Arab state of Bahrain and in the United Kingdom, where vaccinations are already being offered. Canada will begin vaccinating within the next few days with a similar prioritization strategy as the UK and what's expected here in the US, starting first with highest risk populations. Now though in the UK, one group is being cautiously advised to avoid the vaccine, anyone with a history of significant allergic reactions. This advice follows Britain's first day of mass vaccinations after at least two people with a history of allergic reactions reported negative responses to the vaccine. The UK's health regulator says until more research can be done, they're advising caution for anyone who falls under this category. As for distribution, right now one of the biggest challenges for Pfizer's vaccine specifically is the need for extremely cold storage. In response, Pfizer is offering this expensive but reusable custom-built thermal shipper for transport as well as for clinics that don't have proper storage. The vaccine can survive only about five days if not stored properly creating a unique logistical challenge as more health regulators authorize the vaccine throughout different parts of the world. Reporting for Newsnet, I'm Abigail Taylor.